Hey y'all, it's your girl Simone and welcome back to my channel. If y'all can see by the title, today is another story time. So before we get into this video, y'all already know what to do. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, give a girl a thumbs up, comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials, Instagram at Viva La Yoshi, TikTok and Twitter at Life with Simone. Y'all, follow my business page at Rashari. I just want to give a big shout out, thank you to all of you because y'all sold me out. Today is the day I dropped Rashari the denim collection and I sold out in four and a half hours y'all i did not expect that at all i love you guys so so much <laughs> thank you i'm gonna be restocking soon so make sure you stay tuned for that and i'm gonna be adding new colors um yeah i'm gonna be dropping like a lot i'm dropping january i mean february i'm dropping march I'm dropping april i'm gonna be i'm gonna try to drop a, something every month this year so stay tuned but um y'all as y'all can see it's a different background pretty much of nothing because i'm not home i'm still out of town on vacation well not vacation i'm still just out of town but I wanted to go ahead and give y'all a video. So I was like, let me give y'all a video. So this is part two from the video title. Story time. I should I had no business linking with that man. Y'all was asked for it, so I'm gonna give it to y'all. Let's hop straight into this video. So what did I name? Oh, I named him Terry. Okay, so let's get into it. So y'all, this was after that situation. After that situation where we linked with him, when me and Toxic linked with him, I did not see Terry for like a cool minute. Mind you, like I said, he was cool as hell when it came down to like talking on the phone, texting and stuff like that. So I would still talk to him, text him, but I wouldn't see him. Like he would always hit me up and be like, hey, do you want me to bring you some food at your job like you want me to bring you some on your lunch break all this other stuff and i'll be like nah it's okay or nah i'm already eating or nah this or he'll ask me like do you want to ride home he'll ask me so much stuff and how tempting it was i just was like no because y'all know he rubbed me the wrong way calling me a little girl every 10 seconds it rubbed me the wrong way so i was just like nah it's cool so i didn't end. i don't know and plus i just was like i don't like his switch up you know how some people be cool as hell but then when you link with them in person, I, it's some females that I know that's like that. Like, I could talk to them all day. But once we link, it'd be like, bro, you are weird. Especially linking around other people. It'd be just strange. It's like, okay, we could just be like internet besties. But hanging out, we not each other's cup of tea. But yeah, so um, I was just like, yeah, I would just talk to him like that or whatever, right? So one day, remember I told y'all I had met somebody else at the mall? Well, I met a few people at that mall. So it was this boy. His name is just going to be what his real name was because um, I don't care to give him another name. I don't care. It's not like y'all will ever find him because I think this was a nickname. Anyway. It does not matter. Anyway, so he just going to have his name. It was his name. So this boy I had met, he worked at one of the shoe stores in the mall, and his name was Red, right? So... Every time I would go meet up with Red or like walk past his store, he'll always like flirt with me or be like, hey, like da 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 da, what you eating? Sometimes he'll buy me lunch at the food court. Red was real cool. He was cute and he was different than what I was used to because I told myself like, I want to try to talk to people that's different than what I'm used to because I'm used to talking to like hood dudes and shit like that. So I'm like, let me talk to somebody a little different. I hope my background not too loud because I'm like outside sound loud as hell. I'm by the patio. But, um, what a balcony or whatever. So yeah, so. I'm like, I'm going to talk to him. He was cool or whatever. And yeah. So one day I'm walking past or whatever. And he was all like, what's up, Simone? Like, hey, mind y'all. I should have known he was a red flag motherfucker. Because mind y'all, we would talk all the time. But we would talk through email. This nigga did not give me his number. He gave me his email. And he was like, yeah, we could talk through email. Which should have been a red flag to me. Let me get comfortable. Okay. That should have been... My bad, I have to get comfortable. That should have been a red flag to me that he only wants to talk through email. But I don't know. I just was like, I don't know what I, I just wasn't paying attention to. I had other shit going on in my mind. I wasn't really too much tripping. So anyway, he sent me. He was like, did you see my email? So I'm like, oh, I didn't see it. Like the internet is, is really bad in our store. So I have to connect to their Wi-Fi. So I'm like, oh, I didn't even see it. I got to connect to the Wi-Fi when I get back to the store. But mind y'all, like I said, I don't be on my phone like that. So... I don't always connect to the Wi-Fi. So he was like, yeah, I had emailed you. So I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, yeah, um, if you text me, I'm going to see it. But like you emailing me, I'm not going to always see it right then and there. So he like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically like brushing me off. Like, girl, I don't give a fuck what you talking about. You're going to keep emailing me. So um, he was just like, yeah, I was asking if you wanted to hang out outside of work. So I was like, okay, like when do you want to hang out? So he was asking me my schedule. He asked me, what time am I off on Friday? So I told him like, okay, on Friday, I'm off at this time or whatever. So he was like, okay, you off an hour before me, but um, no, an hour after him. He was like, so I could just wait around and then we could link. He was like, cause he don't live that far, no way or whatever. And I was like, all right, cool. So he was like, yeah, where are you about to go right now? I'm not going to lunch. So he was like, okay, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna take my lunch too. Cause he was manager, so he could just do whatever he wants to do. So he was like, I'm gonna take my lunch too. So he took his lunch. We go to the food court, we talk and we... 
we used to talk about like everything we used to talk about like so much stuff so we sitting there we talking stuff we eating and he just like yeah like you're real cool and we talking about school and stuff because he was still in college so i'm just like um i forgot what i was telling him about it was something i was telling him about like a party or something like that and he was like yeah i don't really be going to like parties and stuff like that because i just want to stay focused so i can get out of school all this other stuff mind you like i said i was like 18 or 19 at the time i think i was 18 yeah about to be 19 and red he was like 25 24 one of those he was older than me though so he was like yeah i'm just trying to stay focused so i can get out of school like you need to be focused too you're gonna graduate that's when all the partying happens and all this other stuff so i'm just like no that's when i should start working right <laughs> you know like i don't know i was just I don't know but we'll just talk laugh it'll just be like real cool like he was a cool dude he never tried to talk like sexual to me nothing like that he never came off like a weirdo right so then he asked me like when was my last relationship so i told him like oh i was in a long-term relationship or whatever and we had broke up such and such but i keep it short because i don't never like to like put new people in my rela old relationship like you don't need to know so much about my past getting to know me does not mean you have to get to know what happened in my last relationship get to know me as a person and eventually when i feel comfortable to like vent about that if i ever do then that's cool but you figuring out why me and such and such broke up that's that's not you getting to know me like you know it's just weird and some people might say yeah because sometimes i mean i like to hear how you did your ex because then i know like uh you play victim a lot big dog can you take accountability but like i still want to get to know you i don't want to sit here and talk about the next bitch like i'm sorry i just don't so um yeah so we was talking about that i kept it brief so i asked him like okay what about you so he was like yeah i was in a relationship like a long time ago like i really can't think it's been so long like i you know like i said i just focus on school this that and the third so i'm like okay well you know that's cool or whatever so he's like yeah he's like so tomorrow i was thinking about taking you to this place so he showed me on google it's like a golfing stuff type place it wasn't that but like y'all know like golfing stuff y'all got golfing stuff <laughs> you know like one of them plays i was gonna say like mulligans but I think they close. Yeah, it wasn't Mulligans though, but it was something because remember I told y'all I worked far from where I lived at. So he was like, Yeah, it's one of these places or whatever. So I was like, Okay, that's cool or whatever. Like, that sounds fun. So we talking about, he like, Yeah, I'm gonna beat you in the games, all this other stuff. Just, you know, a little kiki here and there. So I'm like, Okay, cool. Like, I'm excited about it because, like I said, he seemed totally different. He wasn't coming off like a creep pervert. He would try to like school me with certain shit or tell me, like, if I need to help studying, he'll help me out and stuff like that. Like, he was just cool or whatever. So I was like, All right. So he told me, I told him, Mind you, because the place was not far from the job. He don't live far from the job. So he was like, Afterwards, I'll take you home. I told him where I lived i'm like i live in la he's like okay that's far but that's fine with me we could go like i'll still give you a ride home you know because i don't want you you know how you be getting home i'm like i catch the bus because my car is messed up and he was like okay yeah no i'll give you a ride home because yeah i don't want you on the bus that late and well i can't believe you catch the bus so late oh my god like you know maybe we could arrange somewhere i give you rides every now and again i'm like no it's fine because you're going out of your way but yeah you could give me a ride home after we go on our date because i wouldn't be catching the bus that late you know whatever so he like, all right, cool. So I go back to work or whatever. They irritate the out of me like they always do. Now fast forward to the next day. So I end up hitting him. I'm like, hey, you know, we emailing back and forth. So I'm like, hey, um, when I get off work, what side you want me to meet you on? Mind you, we're emailing. Nobody have their emails. Well, I don't. I was going to say, nobody had their emails just getting instantly sent to their phone. I don't know what people do. I know I don't. So I think he didn't see it. And I didn't see him at work. Like when I walked past his job, I didn't see him or whatever. I even went inside his job because I'm the type of person, if we're going to go somewhere, if we're doing something, I need you to confirm every hour on the hour until we go. Like, not literally, but, like, you do need to confirm two days before, the day of, and, like, you need to let me know, like, hey, I'm getting ready now, girl. Like, let me know because if not, I'm going to assume you don't want to go. And I know some people probably like, girl, that don't mean that, but I've been flaked on so many times. I need you to let me know so I don't get no type of... Oh, I didn't bring it up. I thought you realized I didn't want to go. No, I need to know that you still want to be there. So I'm like, okay, let me see him. Because if not, if I don't talk to you, I'm going to go the fuck home. I'm not supposed to be sitting around trying to look for you, playing I Spy where Red at. No, we ain't doing that. So when I went in his store, I didn't see him or whatever, and I was going to leave out. So right when I was going to leave out, one of the girls, it used to be this girl. She was so weird. Like every time I'll come talk to him or whatever, or she or he walked by, if I walk by, he run out to come talk to me. Because y'all, I walk by and that boy will run out that motherfucker like, whoop, 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 and be like, Simone. Not like the nail cycle, but he would call me and be like, hey, 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 I didn't see, like, you didn't say hi to me. You didn't stop by. That's what made me start going in there. Because he'll tell me like, yeah, if I don't see you, come in and say hi to me. Like, don't just walk past the store so every time i like that would happen she would be so weird i don't know maybe her and red talk you know what they probably did he was the manager he was cute young like he was like so yeah 
He probably did. He probably was fucking all them girls. Blow up. It was a lot of guys that worked there, but it was like a handful of girls. So they, he probably was talking to them. Mm. Anyway, so she'll be weird. So I'm up in there or whatever, and I was going to leave out. Like, mind you, I didn't come in there and say, like, hey, it's red hair or anything like that. I just was like, I walked in. I didn't see him, so I was going to leave out. So when I was going to leave out, she stood in front of me. She's like, can I help you? Mind you, you, you know I'm not... I have my badge on still like you know that and plus I will walk around with my badge on too because then it would make it easier when I meet other people in the mall like other girls that work at other stores so I could, we could exchange discounts because that was a thing like girl you work at that store okay I work at this one like you know so yeah so um you see my badge you know I'm not coming in here to buy nothing I never do I always come in here and just like talk to him if I do come in here or he come outside like you know so she's like can I help you so I'm like um no I was just looking for somebody so she's like Oh, what you looking for? Maybe I could help you. So I'm like, oh, I was trying to see if Red was here. Like, but I'd say Red. I'm like, I was trying to see if y'all manager was here. So she's like, the manager, why are you looking for him? Because I am. So I'm like, <laughs> because I just want to ask him something. So she was like, oh, okay. No, he's not here today. He's not here today. And plus, like, they being strict on people coming around talking to people. So if you know you know who I am, why are you asking me all these dumbass questions, bitch? So I was just like, oh, okay, mind you said they being strict on people coming around talking. First of all, y'all be up in here playing, listening to fucking rap music. This the only store that ain't got the same CD on repeat in the mall. Y'all listening to music. Y'all up in here turned up laughing, giggling. Maybe because, you know what? Because it would be like all the guys would be kind of flocking to her versus the other girls that work there. So maybe she liked the attention and when Red was come talk to me, I was taken away from her having 50 50 limb niggas on her so um mm. so she like they being strict mind you red is the manager so who's being strict he being strict on himself i don't need to talk to nobody like girl shut the fuck up so i was just like okay and i started walking off so when i'm about to leave one of the dudes was like hey why are you leaving you ain't leave you leaving before you say hi to red it's like red your little girlfriend here so y'all red come from behind that motherfucking back room he come out he was like what like but he eating or whatever so he was like oh um why you didn't hit me up so i'm like i did i hit you up you didn't reply so i had just came by to see if you was good so they like oh like they looking at stuff like you know like okay like you know paying attention to the conversation i'm laughing like not like that but you know i don't know like he's kind of making me laugh so it kind of seemed like maybe i was blushing but i just laugh when i'm uncomfortable <laughs> a lot not like that but sometimes i just laugh a lot period so um the girl just looked irritated as fuck. So she was all like, didn't you, didn't you say get back to work, Red? Didn't you say get back to work? Like trying to say like, I guess you be telling him get back to work or something like that. I don't know. So he just laughing and he was like, yeah, um, oh, I didn't see it. Like my signal, I must've didn't check it or something he said. So I was like, yeah, I was just come by to check, like to check on you. He was like, oh, you see it? We still going on our date later. When he said that, that girl huffed and puffed past. She huffed and puffed, walked past. Mind y'all, I don't know why y'all not taking care of y'all customers anyway. Like why are y'all all just sitting here worried about me and dude conversation? So then they like, oh, where y'all going? Where y'all going? And he like, don't worry about y'all my business. You didn't have to say that. You had to say that. So anyway, um. She seemed irritated as hell or whatever. So anyway, he had let me know like, yeah, we still gonna go or whatever like that. And I was just like, okay. He like, yeah, I had got off a, um, he was telling me that he had took his lunch at a different time because you know, I guess some store issues, whatever. So he was like, yes, yeah, so I didn't get to see you on my lunch. So I was in the back room eating. He was like, but yeah, most definitely we still going, whatever. I'm gonna wait for you. He was like, yeah, just come out by your store or whatever. And then all this such, 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 such. So I'm like, all right, well, I'll see you later. So they still in the business. Like, ooh, I just left. Cause y'all, they was making me so uncomfortable. Like. I don't know, I was feeling like embarrassed or something like that. And I was just like, okay, I'm about to leave. So I ended up leaving, whatever. Now, fast forward, it's time for me to get off work. He was waiting for me like he said he would be. So I come outside and he right there. He get out his car. He opened the door for me. I'm like, okay, gentleman on 10, okay. So I hop in the car. He waited for me to get in the car, close the door. He didn't even close my foot up in the door. Like, he closed the door for me. I'm like, what, Red? You acting real? I fuck with you, Red. So anyway we hop in the car and he was like he wants to change his clothes mind you i got off work an hour after him so i'm not sure why he didn't just go home and change his clothes he literally li literally he literally lived like 15 minutes away from the job so he was like okay i'm about to go change my clothes real quick do you mind or whatever so i'm like no i don't mind it's cool so he's like all right cool so we pulled up to his house mind y'all i had no intentions on getting out this man's car and going in that house no way so he was like i'll be real quick i'm gonna just go shower and be real quick so i'm like oh yeah you good or whatever like go ahead because i didn't want to go in his house no way like i literally i don't know i don't like especially back then i'm i'm a real like i get nervous so i didn't want to go and like 
see everybody or like if he got parents that's like judging like who is the fuck is this bitch coming in our motherfucking crib like i don't know i just didn't want to i'd rather just stay in the car and it was a good neighborhood so i'm like i'm cool right here just go ahead so he get out and he go to go inside or whatever so i'm sitting there it's like a cool 15 20 so i'm like let me hop on the phone or something because he's taking forever and plus um I just got tired of being on the internet. So I ended up calling Terry. Because mind you, Terry was hitting me up. He always would hit me up throughout the day. We'll talk a lot. So I'm, I ended up calling him. I'm like, I'm going to just call Terry kill some time. So I'm on the phone with Terry. We laughing, joking. He was like, yeah, what you about to do? So I'm like, oh, I'm about to go out with my friend. We finna go golf and stuff. So he like, oh, you going on a date? So I'm like, well, I guess you could call it that. So he like, oh, okay. So he like, yeah. He like, oh, okay. He's like, how old is he? How old is he? Mind you, his obsession wanted to, would, wanted to like do better than the young ones is insane so he like how old is he so i'm like i think he like 24 25 or whatever he work at the mall too so he's like oh my god i'm telling you them young they can't do it like me they can't do it like me he too young he too young for you mind you he just a few years younger than you so mm. he like he's too young for you he too young for you like he can't do it like i could show you around like a real gentleman or whatever he's like i'm gonna let you enjoy your little day and then i'm gonna one up him when it's time for us to have our day or whatever like that and I was just thinking in my head, like, whenever that happens, because like I said, he was cool over the phone. So he like, yeah, I'm going to let you have your little date or whatever, have fun, this and that. He was asking me what I was doing afterwards. I'm like, going home because it's going to be pretty late, like, you know. So he was like, all right, um, well, yeah, have a good time or whatever like that. Like, you know, enjoy yourself. So we still just laughing, kiki, 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 kiki. <laughs> we just laughing and stuff on the phone or whatever. And I looked down, finally... Finally, red ass is coming up out that damn house. Y'all, tell me why when I looked down, me and Terry was on the phone for like an hour. An hour. You mean to tell me you couldn't, you could have spent that hour when you, I could have waited for you. I would have, I would have rather him go home and have me waiting a little bit and then coming to get me and we go there like why would you have me waiting an hour like bro he ended up coming out i'm like all right well i'm about to call you later because my friend coming to the car or whatever so and i know somebody's gonna be like you're a trifling good for nothing type of bitch because y'all it always be that one person that, that's why i can't take a woman on a date because they'll be on the phone with the next man like bro it's just a date it's the first link you think i'm just supposed to like chill out <laughs> i swear they be trying to come for people men be trying to some men be trying to find any excuse not to take a woman out but anyway so he comes to the car. I, I realize it's been an hour. So he's like, my bad. I took a little long. He's like, I just like taking me some long showers or whatever. Bro, if you if you knew this, why not go take a long shower before? And then mind you, he never, e he never emailed me. Check my email. None's there. He never emailed me to check in. Like, hey, you good in the car? I'm... He never checked in on the email like, hey, you good in the car? You want some water? You thirsty? Anything like that? No. But when he did come to the car, he did bring me a bottle of water too. So I was like, thank you. So um, he was like, all right, let's get to going to the place. Mind you, I didn't, the hour wait was annoying, but it wasn't that bad because like I said, I was on the phone. So we ended up heading over to the place. Mind you, the place not that far from his, from his house neither. We pull up and we pull in the parking lot. So when we pull in the parking lot, he was all like, um, let me go see if it's a wait. And if so, I'm going to put my name on the list. Excuse me. So I'm like, okay. And he was like, I'll be right back. So he hop out the car. He go in there or whatever. He in there for a good 15 minutes. He come back out. He was like, yeah, it's a little wait or whatever. He was like, so do you want to just grab something to eat and just chill? Like, we could just park up and chill. And then we could go or whatever. Mind y'all, they had an arcade in there. He was talking about let's do the arcade. So I don't understand why we couldn't just go to the arcade. But he was like, we grab something to eat. He was like, you hungry? So I'm like, yeah. So he was like, okay, what you want to eat? Mind you, it's like a McDonald's right there. We finna go somewhere. So I'm like, whatever, I want McDonald's. So we go to McDonald's and we pull not back in the parking lot where we was just at at the golf place we pulled into a parking lot i mean not a parking lot at all we pulled onto a street it was pretty dark or whatever but where we pulled at you could tell that he done it. like he pulls on this street a lot like he know this street because it just was like strange and it was kind of across the street from a park so it was like really just dark over there for some odd ass reason i guess they say uh-uh y'all ain't gonna be in this park late night so well i guess some people but anyway so anyway we get our food and he was all like um dang he said something about like him being too tall mind you he wasn't even tall he said something about like it being uncomfortable for him to eat his food in the front seat so he's like i'm about to get in the back and eat my food so he could bust his food open because he did get a like um chicken nuggets a uh, big mac and uh well i guess he got a few items so he got in the back seat right so I'm in the front. He was, uh, I'm like, it's kind of weird you being in the back seat, you being behind me. Cause now I don't know if he's going to like, 
like pull out a glizzy from the back and like hit me in the head with it or something i don't know what your intentions are because why are you behind me like it's kind of weird now mind you he sat directly behind me he didn't even get behind his driver's seat he's got behind the passenger seat so i'm kind of like bro i don't know what if his intrusive thoughts kick in and he just start choking me out with the seat belt like i don't know so i was like i'm about to get it back too mind you he had asked me if i want to get it back originally before he made his reason why he was going in the back so i was just like uh at first i was like mm, no but then when he said he was getting in the back seat and he told me why i was just like all right you said directly behind me i'm gonna get in the back seat too so i ended up hopping out and i got in the back seat with him so anyway i ended up hopping in the back seat with him or whatever because like i said it was just too weird for me to be sitting in the front with that man sitting behind me munching on them chicken nuggets like he was finna shove one up my ear so anyway i ended up getting in the back seat and i sit on the other side i bust down my chicken nuggets and i'm over there eating like rum, 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 rum. I'm just eating them because I'm hungry. I ain't even gonna lie. So while we eating them, we talking. He like smacked his food down real fast. And sometimes I be eating like I ain't got tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know why. I be eating. I be telling myself, slow down, girl. Let that food die. Just buy so I be like, kaw, 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 kaw. so anyway. We while we was back there, we eating, we talking, conversation is cool or whatever. So then um finally like we like bought up the food or whatever and we still just sitting there talking. So he was like, Dang, they still ain't text me yet. They'll text me in a minute. So I'm like, Oh, they have where they could text you. So he was like, Nah, I know somebody that work up in there. He was like, So they said they gonna like bump me up, but they'll text me and let me know. So I was like, All right, cool. So then he's like, Oh, again, you said when was your last relationship? At this point it was kinda getting annoying because why? You know him? That's your friend? I'm just kidding. But no, I was just kind of irritated because why did you ask me this? So I was like, like I said, but I didn't say like I said, but I told him and he was just like, okay, so why'd y'all break up? Like, did he cheat on you? You cheat on him? So I'm like, no, you know, we had our issues or whatever. I'm like, but it was a mutual agreement. The lies, it wasn't. He left me. <laughs> but he like, um, okay, but mind you, he don't need to know all that. So he was like, okay. So he was like, yeah, he was like, it just be crazy. You know, you just want to make sure somebody is not just fresh out of a relationship when you start trying to talk to them and stuff and you start liking them. He was like, because I like you or whatever. And I just, you know, don't want to talk to you. And he didn't say healed, but he was like, basically, basically said, and I'm not healed or if I'm still like holding on to that. So I was like, nah, you good. Like me and him don't even talk because at this point we would talk but we wouldn't talk it's like he like i said he would pull up when he want to like flex some money but he'll give me some or if he want to tell me about how he was dealing with a chick or he'll have me ride with him somewhere while he pull up on pull up on homies where he know that it's females there that he mess with and it just be weird because it'd be like bro why why what's your problem i don't know it was weird i guess to let them know like she's still around somehow some way a little bit i don't know it was weird but um yeah so i, I didn't tell him all this stuff i was just like now nah, we don't even talk like you know it's no beef but like it's whatever so he was just like okay yeah he was like because me and my ex we're still pretty like pretty much friends or whatever we're close he's like sometimes she'd be want to talk about it and stuff he's like but i'm over it i felt like you know we had to have this time away from each other like we're in college we're young or whatever like that so i'm confused at this point because i'm just like okay he's talking to me and asking me questions like he's trying to pursue me and see like i'm not still stuck on the situation but then you just told me how you and your ex need to not be together because y'all young and in college and you want to be turned. So make it make sense real quick. And then what ex? Because then you say you broke up for a long ass time ago. So I'm thinking like, okay, maybe they broke up first freshman year or something like that. So he was like, um, yeah. So I had to let her know or whatever like that. He was like, and plus she had we long distance. He was like, I'm not really good with the long distance. Neither one of us. He was like, she went away for college. Like, you know, she used to live in this city too. Now she went away for college. So I was like, oh, okay, mind you, he told me this too before that his ex had went away for college and it was a long relationship but then he brought it up again so i was like okay dang that's crazy so he's like yeah so you know it was just like a situation like that he was like but i'm cool like we not you know we not beefing any either we friends you know i help her with school or whatever if she asks or whatever like that he was like if she ever come home for like the city like come back when she come back home or whatever if sometimes she on a link like we'll probably go catch a catch a movie or go get something to eat but it's nothing like that we just got mutual friends so i'm like okay mind you i didn't ask because like i said i don't you don't need to be knowing about my my ex do and i don't really care to know too much about yours like nothing like that because there's gonna be somebody like you're not a girl's girl because you don't want to know about the last girl like no i ain't got shit to be doing with a girl's girl i just don't want to know because i mean i don't know her and even if i did if i did know her i wouldn't be talking to you i just I don't need to know. So anyway, we talk about, I'm giving into the conversation because so, clearly he want to talk about it. So anyway, he looked at his phone and he was just like, mm, all right, let me put my phone down. So then he was like talking and he's like, yeah, like get comfortable or whatever. Mind you, we're in the backseat of a car. I've got comfortable in the backseat of a car, but like th this, not this. So he, the next thing you know, he was like, yeah. So while we wait, you trying to do something? So I'm like, 
for what? Like, what are you trying to do? <laughs> like, I declare war. Like, you trying to play, have a thumb war with me or rock paper scissors? Like, what? What is it? What you? What you trying to? Like, I'm trying to see what he's talking about. So he was like, you trying to do something? Like, you trying to have fun or something? So I'm like, okay. Like, you know, another place we go to? Like, cause you trying to go in that arcade? So I'm like, yeah, sure. Like, what you? What you want to do? Y'all, why this man gonna say? Can you suck it? <laughs> Y'all, this man asked me if I could suck it. I don't know. What was fun about that? Like, I guess to him it may be fun. But to me, this this isn't very much. This isn't fun. This, this ain't fun for me. So I was like, can I do what? Can I do who? Can, like, what? He was like, no. Like, you know, he started laughing, trying to laugh it off. And he was all like, can you give me? He didn't say head. He said it in a different term. But, I don't know, maybe he said fellatio. I don't know. He said something different, like he trying to be slick about it. Like, bro, wait, I don't give a fuck. If you ask me to give you a duck, nigga, I'm not putting my lips on your motherfucking crust. Yeah, motherfucking dick. So, anyway, so he was like, yeah, he asked me, and I was like, no. <laughs> Mind you, like I said, he never emailed me on no freak shit, so what's going on, big bruh? So, I was like, uh-uh, no, I'm not on that. So, he was like, What? I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not on that. Like, we're going to go to the golf place. We're going to have a good time, you know, continue to get to know each other or whatever like that. So he was just like, oh, well, I don't have no condoms, so we wouldn't be able to have, you know, do to do. So I'm like, what, what about me eating a 10-piece chicken nugget make him think I want to swallow some dick? Like, is you crazy? I'm like... Um, we wasn't going to do that. Like, you know, like that wasn't in the, the, in the plans for me today. So he was just like, huh? Like he was just confused. It seemed like he was so confused as if, as if we was talking from two different accounts and, and my account, my alter ego was telling him, boy, when I see you, I'm going to eat the good and I'm going to you so good. Like that's how he was confused. As if I told him these things, like as if we ever had a conversation like this, like, bro, we talk about dinosaurs. What are you talking about? So I'm just like, yeah. So I was like, how much longer is the wait? Cause mind you, he did say like an estimate time and that time kind of was like going somewhere. How much more longer is the wait? So he was like. I don't know. He was like, honestly, we probably shouldn't even like he, he was like, we probably shouldn't even go there. So I'm like, oh, do you want to go somewhere else? So he was like, I don't know. And I was like, OK, mind you, he's just his whole attitude starts seeming weird. So he get on his phone. I'm sitting there. I'm on my phone, too, at this point, because I'm like, fuck, he weird. So then he get off his phone. and He was just like. So. Where do you say you live at again? So I'm like, oh, okay, it's all good. So I tell him I live in LA. So he's like, oh, LA? Oh, okay. Mm. And then he get on his phone again. And I'm just like, what the fuck? I'm peeping it. I'm like, what's up with him? I'm going to have to hit him up in his head, like with my phone. You know, because I'm like thinking like, what's going on, big bro? Like, why are you being weird? So then he was like, yo, just want to like, like suck it a little bit. Like he was like, just a little bit like, it's a nice size. And I was like, okay like you know like but no i don't want to so i'm like nah i don't want to start off like our i'm like we on a cool path with each other i don't want to like mess things up and like make things about you know intercourse i don't want to say the word too much in youtube like but i'm like i don't want to make it about that and then well we could have potentially got to know each other and it could have been better like you know i don't want to just make have a sexual situation with you so he was just like hmm and I was just like, did he not hear what I said? Like, it really would just be like, mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So you say you don't want to suck it. So am I hearing you right? And it'd be like, bro, I said no. Like, you know, so I'm just like, nah. So I'm like, so you don't want to go golf no more? I just changed subject. Like, so you don't want to go to the golf place no more? So he was like, honestly, I don't want to go in there because I think it would just be fucked up for me to take you up in there anyway. So I'm like... Because I don't want to suck your dick. <laughs> because I was confused. I'm like, because I don't want to, like, because I don't want to give you head that you can't take me golfing no more. Nigga, I'll pay for myself. <laughs> like, it's not that deep. Like, what the fuck? What the hell? So I'm so confused, too, because I'm just like, what the hell? So he was like, no, 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 no. He like, that's not why it would be weird. That's not why it would be weird. So I'm like, okay, well, why would, why would it be weird or whatever? So he's like, because my ex worked there. 
So I'm thinking like this got to be a different ex because literally he just told me him and his ex broke up years ago because of college. So I'm like, okay, well, you wanted to go there. He make it seem like as if I was like, oh, I found this place I want to go to. And he was just like, nah, we can't go. My ex worked there. You decide to go there. So I'm like, oh, did she just did hire tonight? Because you the one who said let's go there so he was like no my ex worked there he was like and i feel like it would be triggering for her to see well he didn't say triggering but he said something similar but he was like it would be like hurt hard for her to see me there on a date with somebody else he was like because we literally only been broken up for like two months now didn't you say so like, i thought you said y'all broke up years ago so he's like i said we broke up a while ago you told me years ago Bro, stop playing with me, big bro. So I'm like, okay, well, you told me it was years ago. So he like, no, it was like a few months ago, <laughs> a few months ago. He was like, we broke up. He was like, and I feel like that would be messed up for me to bring you up in there. So I'm like, wait, did you say your ex went away for college? Y'all tell me why she was at Cal State Long Beach. Mind you, like I said, I work probably like a little bit away. She's still in Southern California. That is not long distance. You have a car. I don't know if she have a car, but like that's not long distance at all. Like what the fuck is wrong? What are you talking about? And then she clearly, she worked, she worked, she worked literally right by your mother's house and job. So clearly she ain't that far. She clearly has a job. She has, I mean, a car. Bro, what is you even talking about? So I'm like, you knew this before you decided to go there. So he's like, yeah, I just don't want to go there no more. I just feel like that would be weird. Okay. So I'm like, all right, well, you could just take me home. So he was like, you said you live in LA? I said, yeah. So he was like, well, that's a little bit too far for me to be driving. Like, I'm tired. I really don't feel like driving all the way to LA. Mind you, it's like 30 minutes. So he like, I don't feel like driving all the way, like 30, 40 minutes. He's like, I don't feel like driving all the way to LA. That's a bit far, all this other stuff. I don't have gas like that. So I'm like, I could give you gas. It's not that deep. So he was like, no, it's just, <laughs> it's just too far. Like, I really don't want to take that driver or whatever like that. He was like, you said you catch the bus. Like, which bus stop I could drop you off at the bus stop? Y'all, when I say I was pissed the fuck off because I'm just like, this nigga is weird, weird. So I was like, yeah, just drop me off at the bus stop. At this point, I'm irritated as fuck because you took so much of my my time i could have been somewhere else so yeah after i offer gas money this boy really gonna tell me basically like nah i don't give about that gas money i'm not taking you home so i was so irritated y'all when i tell y'all i was annoyed my bad i'm like trying to move this but when i told y'all i was annoyed like i was so irritated so i'm like all right if you could drop me off at the bus stop so i told him the bus stop that i go to in front of the job why does this gonna say is it one that passed by up over here because i'm not trying to go back over there mind you we're literally probably like 10 minutes away from the job it's not that big of a deal for him to take me so i'm like whatever it's cool just drop me off right here mind you it was a gas station that the bus would pass by so i might just drop me off right here so he was like all right so mind y'all when we on the way to the bus stop this boy is literally telling me like it basically telling me like if i suck it then he could give me a ride home he'll have the energy to take me home if i if i just you know do my thing on the d and i'm like bitch fuck you i was so irritated i'm like no nah, it's cool i'm about to give for a ride home like what the fuck is wrong with you like boy you are really weird so he was just like all right well i mean we could have still went out boy it's cool it's good it's good so anyway he ended up dropping me off mind you i hop out the car and i barely close the door but i'm walking off he rolled down the window he's like i mean i could give you that ride i just walked into the gas station because what is you even still talking to me he yelled out the window basically saying like he could still give me that ride if i just put my mouth on his thing boy it probably stink keep it to yourself i don't even want it so I was irritated. I'm so irritated, frustrated to where y'all, like I said, I was the type, I'm frustrated, I want to cry, but I'm like, I ain't finna cry because it's a lot of crazy people out right now. It's late. Like, uh-uh, I, I can't see y'all see me sweating because y'all need to know when it get time to get sticky, I'm going to get icky because you try me, I'm going to try you back. Don't think I'm a punk ass bitch. For real, like y'all can't think I'm a punk ass bitch. Not, not them, not the crazy people. So anyway, I'm over there and I was irritated and I ended up texting um terry because he just so happened to have texted me too while i was still in the car with oh boy so i had ended up texting terry back so i texted him back and i was just like are you busy right now and he was just like no what happened like why what's up so then i was like can you give me a ride are you in the area if not like if you are can you please give me a ride home i got gas money or whatever like that even though i knew he wasn't to charge me gas but i just still said it because you know niggas trying me today so he was just like oh i'll give you a ride like cool where you at so i told him where i was at 
he talked to me on the phone because he was like, he want to make sure that I'm okay. Like, I'm safe. He like, stay in the gas station. Don't go outside. Because I'm like, I'm going to wait outside by the bus stop. So he was like, no, just stay in there. And I'm telling him, like, the people in here is, like, kind of being weird. You know, when you could tell, like, the person here kind of wanted you to get out because it's like, you ain't buying shit. You just in here. So he was like, nah, fuck them. Just stay inside. Like, don't go outside. Just stay inside. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Mind you, I'm not in a bad area, but when you a woman and you alone anywhere and it's late anywhere could be a bad area like anybody could prey on you it doesn't matter if you in the best area in the world shit you could be at willy wonka's chocolate factory standing by yourself and an oompa loompa might come and want to touch your goodies like you just never know so when you a woman and you alone you just got to be cautious so anyway he ended up coming we talked on the phone the whole time he ended up coming out get in the car and i'm just like trying to hold back tears because i'm so irritated but i'm like i ain't finna let no nigga see me sweat so I ended up hopping in the car and Terry was like, what the fuck? That's so crazy. Like, that's so messed up of him. Like, you know, I told you about these young niggas. And it's like, Brian trying to hear that shit right now. But he like, yeah, that's so messed up. And I'm like, right. He was like, dang. Oh, that just made me mad. Like, that made me mad. Make me want to come to your job and press him. What story say he worked at? So I'm like, nah, it's cool. It's cool, Terry. Excuse me. So I'm like, it's cool. You ain't even got to do all that. Like, I ain't even tripping. He a weirdo. Like, he's weird as fuck. So he like, yeah, whatever. Like. So we off that now. So he was like, dang, okay, I'm gonna get you right home. So he's like, you hungry or anything? So I'm like, nah, I'm not hungry. He was like, dang, I don't know. I don't want to ask because I might. this might be a bad time to ask. But like, do you got to go home right now or could we kick it for a little bit? Like, you know, because he's been trying to kick it with me for the longest. So I was like, mm, we could kick it or whatever. Like, we could kick it. I got time. You know, whatever. Since he's going to give me a ride home, he cool. He good for it. He gave me a ride before. And he picked me up before. So he was like, all right, cool. So we driving or whatever, and then he was just like, y'all already know his favorite place to go. Well, I wasn't 21, so I couldn't really go to bars, no way. But he was like, yeah, um, you want to go see a movie? <laughs> you want to see a movie? So I'm like, all right, whatever. So we uh, he looking up the times or whatever, and when he looking up the times, the time had said the movie wasn't going to start till like an hour and a half. So he's like, dang. Mind you, he likes to go to his local theater by, his, by where he live at. So he like, dang, it's not going to start till like an hour and a half. I guess we could just chill or whatever. You said you already ate, so we could probably just chill. We could go find somewhere to chill at or whatever if you want to. So I was like, yeah, it don't matter. And so he was like, all right, but I'm about to go. I got to go lock the door or something he said he had to go do at home, which he should have did before he came and got me. But he was probably rushing, so let me not be... But he was rushing to get me, and I'm very grateful for that. So I'm not, I can't be the one to judge. And I know before somebody in the comments would be like, see, that's why you should have picked Terry all along. Okay, keep listening. So anyway, he was like, he had to go by his house to do something. So I'm like, all right, whatever, we killing time. So he pull up to his house. He go in the house. He go do whatever it is he finna do. He come back outside. He was like, honestly, we could just sit in my driveway for a little while. He was like, I already know how you feel about not wanting to go in the house. So it's, I ain't even finna ask that. He was like, we could just sit in my driveway and chill or whatever since we ain't gonna go get no food and you can't go in no bars so i was like all right cool like that's cool with me or whatever i'm not tripping so time going we in a driveway we just talking he being cool or whatever i had to pee so i'm like dang i gotta pee so he was like dang okay i know you don't want to go in my house because you how you feel about going to people's house he was like so do you want me to um take you by like a taco bell or something like that it was like one by his not too far from his house so he like you want me to take you by there so i was like dang i'm like you know what i don't mind going in your house because i had to pee so bad and going to the public bathroom which i don't know what this man's bathroom looked like neither but going to a public bathroom oh and have to pee bad and if it's dirty i'm gonna end up throwing up up in there because y'all my stomach be queasy easy when i just yeah so i'm like i'll just go in your house and pee i'm like it, it, it won't be no harm he's like you sure but you gonna go in the house i'm like yeah terry's cool i'm gonna go in the house so he's like all right i'm gonna let you in so I walk in, it's dark as hell up in there. He like, the bathroom is over there. Go down the hall, it's the last door. So I go in the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom for a cool minute. I'm just like fixing my hair. Like using, I use the bathroom or whatever. I'm just in there. I'm kind of irritated as hell. I'm texting my friend. I'm letting her know what happened or whatever. I text Toxic. I let her know what happened. And I'm just in there for a cool minute. So when I finally come out the bathroom, because like I said, I don't know why I was in there for so long. When I finally come out about the bathroom, he was up in there, but he's standing like at the end of the hallway with his stuff. <laughs> like if this ain't his house, he didn't get comfortable or nothing. So he was like, all right, come on, let's go back in the car. So I was just like, you know what? We could just kill time in here if it's cool with you. So he was like, you sure? I'm like, yeah. He was like, all right, well, we're going to kill time here. We could chill up in here. So I'm like, all right, cool. So we sitting down. He turned the TV on, but it was just like, it wouldn't change from the static channel. Like the, sh at this point, I'm thinking like, is they going to suck me in this TV? But no, nah, so I'm sitting down chilling. He ended up going to his kitchen. He's like, I'm going to take me a shot. You don't mind? He's like, you want one? Like, you want a shot? So I'm like, mm, nah, I don't want no shot. Like, I don't want no shot. He's like, I can mix you up a drink or whatever if you want one. So I was like, um, 
all right, nothing too strong though. Like nothing too strong. So he like, all right, I'm gonna mix you up a little something and I'm gonna take me a shot. So he come back with the drink, mind you, while he's, I'm sitting on the couch. The couch is like, the couch is, I'm facing this way and say the kitchen is over to the side this way, but like over there. So I could see him, but like, yeah so he like staring at me but every time i know he's making a drink but he's staring at me like but we we're talking so i'm thinking like yes yeah, why he's looking you know he's making eye contact obviously but i'm like why is he looking at me like that but every time i look at him it's like he'll he'll stop and like finish making a drink so i'm he like yeah what what kind of juice you like what kind of juice you like so i'm like oh whatever you got it's cool with me so then he ended up coming back and he's like all right you gonna take your shot and i'm i'm not i'm gonna take my shot and you gonna drink your drink or whatever like that so i'm like all right so we cheers and i'm drinking my drink he take his shot we just talking and chilling stuff like that i'm really still trying to figure out this tv he won't help me he ain't never said hey give me the remote let me help you with the tv he didn't say shit right so we talking we just laughing and joking we talking about now he's speaking up oh boy but this boy mind you the whole time we talking he going back and taking more shots more shots i'm babysitting with my cup finally when it get low he's like you want some more to drink so i'm like no i'm babysitting because i get drunk fast the moment i feel liquor i be like i start spinning on my head and hopping off the roof i ain't got time for that so i'm like nah um it's cool like i'm good i'm good so he was like you sure mind you and also when i have when i drink the liquor goes straight through me i have to pee so i'm like i gotta go use the bathroom again so he like yeah go ahead you already know where it's at so I go to the bathroom, right? I'm in there for a cool minute because I don't know why this was so nasty and weird to me, but I'm over here putting the water in my hand and I'm like gargling it, spitting it out. I don't know why I didn't just ask this man for water. I wasn't drinking the water. I don't know why I just didn't ask. But I'm in the bathroom for a cool little minute. I start taking pictures and some more shit. What made me start coming out the bathroom, I heard music. So I'm like, oh, he must have figured out how to work the TV. So I come out, it's music playing. Why this nigga made me another cup? Terry, I told you I ain't want no more. So he was like, I made you another cup. I made you another cup. He was like, we still got a lot of time to kill. So, you know, might as well just kill some time. So I was like, oh, okay, mind you, he's not playing music from the TV. The TV is still on static mode, but it's down. Like the volume is down. He playing music from a radio or something or CD player, CD, DVD. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not, I know what that is. But yeah, he had like a stereo system. He was playing music from that. So he was so he like, yeah, just drink a little bit more. I'm taking all these shots. You got to catch up to me. So I'm like, I'm good. I promise. Mind you, I know how to like control my liquor, too. So I'm not about to be just like all like, oh, Terry, let me show you how I twerk on my head. Like, I ain't going to be doing all that. But I know when I'm getting a little tipsy because I get a little more talkative or like just little shit like you could just tell. And I know he could probably tell like, OK, she get a little tipsy or whatever. So he's like, all right, just drink this last one with me because I, I felt like I'm about to be embarrassing myself drunk. So I'm like, oh, okay, you cool, you cool. I'm like, you good enough to drive? He's like, yeah, the movie right there. And by the time we leave the movies, I'm going to be sober as fuck. So I'm like, all right, cool. So we, I'm sitting down. He come back because, mind you, he already put the drink right there. And I know y'all probably think like, girl, you drunk a drink without seeing him pour it? Yeah, I've made mistakes in life like we all have. So, um... He ended up coming back with his shot. He had the drink right there. And I'm just sipping it. He just was like, mind you, I took a little baby sip and I set that shit back down. So he was all like, you better drink that, girl. I'm like, I am. Just give me some time. I got to just cool off. So he was like, just drink it. So I'm like, I am. <laughs> that was weird to me. I don't know. And he was standing there, like just standing there. So he was like, all right, let's cheers. Let's cheers. Like his shot. So I cheers with him. And I was like, took a little shot, like a little sip. And he just drank his shot. He was like, girl, you need to drink some more of that. Like you got to drink some more. So I'm like, I'm going to drink some more. I'm going to finish this cup. Don't worry about me. Worry about you. And them shots you taking. Like, you know, we just laughing. So I'm sitting there and I pick up the remote again. I'm still just like trying to focus on it. That's how I knew I was drunk at this point. Cause I'm over here like this holding a remote, but I'm not doing pushing nothing. I'm just trying to focus on the TV and it's just static. And so he sits next to me. Y'all, he sits so close. Mind you, the couch is a little, it's a nice size. He sits so close to me there. We thigh rubbing. I thought my thigh was his left leg. Like, I don't know because he was so close to me. So I'm like, I kind of like scooch over a little bit because it was weird. So he talking and he like leaning in talking. So he like, yeah, I just can't believe that dumb young nigga going to cut up for all of us. Like, I would never treat you like that, baby. I would never do you like that, baby. Just babying me. So I'm like, oh, yeah, like, I'm not worried about it. Like, he's weird. That was our first time linking. I really don't care. No way. Like, it is what it is. Like, you know, 
things could have been worse. And he just like, nah, like I would never do that. You like, you know, like he leaning in talking to me like this, drunk breath all on me, leaning in. Then he starts to scoot in closer. So I was kind of feeling uncomfortable because it's like, why are you leaning in so close to me? Your arm on the back of the couch, you leaning in so close to me, talking like, uh, uh. And he getting super close to me, like scooting closer, sitting so close to me. So I ended up getting up. They had pictures up on the wall. I ended up getting up. I asked him who he lived with. He said he lived alone. I'm looking at the pictures on the wall. So I'm looking at it. It's a lot of old school photos and stuff like that. So I'm like, oh, this is your grandma. Because it's a lot of the older woman. She's in a lot of the pictures. So he's like, yeah, that's my grandma. That's her. Yeah, you you like the old photos. I'm like, yeah, I like looking at old photos. Mind you, it was another girl that was in the pictures a lot. I didn't see him in none of these pictures. I seen people when it was like kids. And I'm thinking like, mm, maybe one of these is him when he was a kid. But he maybe look different. But I, I can't tell which one is him. So I'm looking and i seen a girl it was one girl in the photo the main people that was on the wall because there's a lot of pictures but the main people that was on that wall the pictures was the grandma and her with people or other people are by herself and then pictures of the this one girl with a little baby boy with a little boy he looked like he's probably like four or five but you seen pictures of him when he was a baby her and him pictures of him by himself pictures like just a lot of pictures so i'm thinking like oh this must be his niece and nephew so i was like who is this this your um it's your sister or something so he's like who so i was like right here i'm like it's a lot of pictures of her with a baby i'm like who is this like just asking questions about who people was on the pictures because i'm just curious at this point and i was just i don't know y'all tell me why he comes over there by me he comes behind me to look at the pictures on the wall and when he comes behind me, he comes behind me like not on the side of me mind you the picture i'm looking at i'm not even standing directly in front of the photo i'm standing like off to the side picture right here and i'm like oh who is that he comes behind me behind me that i could feel the meat on me and he was like so close to me and put his head like right here damn near on my neck whispering in my ear damn near but talking loud and was like oh yeah that's my sister and my nephew so i was like okay and i like moved like scooch over like Oop, let me scoot up out of here i was like okay so he was like what you want to see all the pic pictures in the wall i can name everybody like this family so i was like okay but my job move over and i'm just like laughing i'm thinking like maybe he not reading the room right but he finna read it right because i'm not finna let you just be up on me like that so i was like okay where you at like i'll see you on here so he was all like because i always was the type that be running around playing and all this type of stuff every time a photo come out so you mean to tell me you have a family wall on your wall and none of them is you hmm. so i was like okay so I did think it was weird, but you know, at the same time, I'm a little tipsy and I just, whatever. So I was like, okay, so I ended up walking back. Cause mind you, as I'm looking at the photos, he kept getting closer to me and be like, you see this one right here? Put his arm around me. See this one right here? I remember that day. Like it was yesterday, man. My uncle, this my uncle right here. My uncle, Bigfoot, he ran and fell, broke his big foot. Like he just so close to me. And I'm just like, oh, okay. You know, so I kind of like moved over and I went back to sit down. I'm like, how do you work this TV? I finally asked. I'm like, how do you work this TV? He's like, I see you've been trying to work that tv for the longest i'm like right so I, we just start dying laughing he's like you want me to show you how to work it or whatever i'm like yeah he's like i'm gonna show you in a minute he's like i need another shot he's like can you at least take one shot with me so i'm like i don't do shots he's like just take one shot with me and you ain't even finish your cup finish your cup you know i'm gonna fill it back up i'm gonna put a shot in your cup so i'm like i don't want no shot in my cup i'm barely not even drinking this damn cup so i'm like no nah, it's cool it's cool i'm gonna drink it i'm gonna drink i'm gonna finish it he's like yeah if you don't finish it you're gonna take a shot so i'm like i'm gonna finish it so i'm over here like sipping it slowly but i'm like oh okay like you know let me pace myself still like because i'm not about to let this man peer pressure me into drinking so he go back to go get him another shot or whatever so when he went i set my cup down and i'm over here playing with the tv so i was like yeah fix the tv for me because i'm trying to put it on something or whatever mind you it's dark in here he got the lights like low and when i did ask when i did mention the lights being low he kind of ignored that part so anyway i'm sitting there and i might got the t i got the remote i'm trying to figure out the tv i set my drink back down so he come over there he take a shot he like cheers with me cheers with me drink some more you just need a little bit more of that but the way he was looking at me he like you need a little bit more of that so i'm like i'm i'm good like i'm like i'm already fucked up like i'm i'm already toe up like i need something to get on my stomach to soak this shit up so he's like just all right take this shot with me like but i'm drinking my cup he taking his shot so we cheers again he take his shot i set mine down whatever and i'm back focusing on the tv because the way he was looking at me it was kind of uncomfortable so he ended up looking at me he just he set his shot cup down he's just staring at me 
Mind you, I'm sitting on the couch. He's just staring at me like weird. Like imagine a weird man staring at you. Yeah, that was him. Mm -hmm. So he's staring at me. And the next thing you know, he was just like, you so fucking fine. And I was just like, oh, thank you. And I'm smiling. But then I go back to the TV because it's uncomfortable. You know, when you're uncomfortable, you start kind of being weird. Because that's probably how it was. Like, it was just like, okay. He was like, yeah, you so fucking fine. So I'm like, thank you. And he was just like, yeah, I can't believe that nigga did you like that. And I was like, right. But I'm over it. I, I'm not worried about him. But I kind of started talking about it again. Like, you know, but yeah, he weird as hell. But I'm like, over it. And I'm not paying attention. But he was just standing there staring at me. So he was like... He don't know that you got to, you got to, um, he, what he said, something like, you can't just jump in. He was like, these young niggas be worried about pleasing themselves. You got to please a woman body. So at this point, it started getting weird because I already told you how that boy made me feel uncomfortable and I wasn't on that type of time. So why is it now that you bringing it up and you start talking about how he got to, got to please my body? Like, boy, what the fuck? I don't care if that man said, can I stick my big toe up your ass? It would have still been no. As much as fun that sounds, the answer would have been no, because that's not what I'm on, you know? So he's like, um, yeah, you got to please. He's like, these youngness don't realize you got to please a woman body. And that's what I'm saying. When I say I could do you better. And I'm just like, Mind you, he would tell me, like, I look good and stuff. And I don't know if I had mentioned this before, but, like, he would always post, not at this point, but later in life, he would post, after this day, like, he would post pictures of me and him on his page. And he would, not of me and him, because we ain't got no photos together, but he would edit our faces on couples' photos. <sighs> if I could find one, I'll insert it. But, y'all, it's probably in my Google Photos somewhere. I got to check on my laptop. But he used to post. Photoshop my face and his face on photos and bro Anyway, so he was like yeah, but mind you like I said he would tell me I look good But like he never came out. He would never talk sexual to me either So I'm just like yeah, he's like yeah He gotta please the body first and he started talking real just real vulgar He like you gotta eat the lick it do this flip it stick it lick it eat it trick it like that He started and I was just it got weird. So I was like you gonna show me how to fix this remote why this nigga gonna say i'll show I, I could show you something else so i was like here fix the remote and i handed it because i'm like this is getting weird like you getting a real weirdo so i'm like here fix the remote why this because mind you he wasn't small he put his weight because he was kind of a little heavier he came i'm sitting on the couch this nigga sat on the couch but like not sat on the couch but like lean he put his whole weight up on me and pushed me back and got up on top of me y'all when i i know i'd be like making a joke out of stuff and stuff when i be telling stories and laughing and stuff but ain't nothing funny honest obviously that's why it took me a while to tell this story because i've been wanting to tell it for a long time but y'all when basically to say like when you feel uncomfortable you get up out of a situation so y'all when i tell y'all he put his whole body up on me and start trying to kiss on me so i'm like terry move like terry mind you he big so i'm trying to get up off of him i'm like terry move mind you one hand stuck up under him and the other one i'm like trying to push him off of me he grabbed my hand like this and he over here, he like, just just be cool, just be cool. So I'm like, finally got my other hand loose. And I'm like, pushing him like, Terry, move. I'm like, damn, they're scratching his neck off. Like, bitch, get the fuck up off of me. Because I start panicking because at that moment, I felt like he was about to, yeah, I can't say that on here. I really felt like that. So I was like, what the fuck? So I'm not even being gentle with him because for what, bitch? You put your whole, you're being weird. So I'm like, Terry, get up off of me. Like, Terry, what the fuck? Get up off of me. Mind you, he's so much bigger than me. So I'm trying to move. I cannot get from a uh, loose from this man. And he over here trying to kiss for me and stuff. So I'm like, what the fuck? And he's like, grab my other hand. So I'm like, Terry, get up off me. I'm like trying to move my feet and stuff. My, my legs, like trying to see if I could knee him wherever his penis may be. So I'm like what the fuck at this point i don't know what happened i just screamed and i was like terry get off of me like i screamed but i was crying at this point like i started crying so it's like something snapped and he got up and he was like no 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 you don't got to do that like you don't, you don't have to do all that like you don't got to do all that i what i ain't had to do all what you ain't had to do all of that you fucking weirdo read the room what part about what what made me say Terry, show me how you would have done it. Like, what the fuck? I was so confused. So when I got up, when I tell y'all I got up and I literally grabbed my shit and ran to the door, I ran outside. I, it's not funny. But nothing about this is funny. But so if I'm smiling, don't think like I'm some sick weirdo who enjoyed it. Because I saw that one weird ass person in the comments. So I ran to the door. I ran out the door. Mind you, 
I was like, what the fuck? I'm on my phone and I didn't know what to do. I'm pacing back and forth up the driveway. Then I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know who I could call to come get me. At this point, I'm like, I don't want to call my grandparents to come get me because I don't know. I just would be in weird ass situations and I would never, I, I, I honestly could say that it was times where I could probably have called my grandparents to come get me out of a situation, but I just didn't. I don't know what it was, but I would feel like I got myself in this. I need to figure out how to get myself out of it. I don't know what the fuck it was about, but basically I want to say to y'all, if you ever in a situation that's weird and you know you could call somebody, but they might be mad, just call them. They'll be better off to just call them, right? So I'm pacing back and forth. I'm crying. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm shaking. I don't know what the fuck to do. I'm hitting a toxic. I'm like, toxic, dude, are you with one of your grown niggas? Can they come get me? Bro, I don't know what to do. Nobody's replying at this point. Mind y'all, it's probably like midnight, 1 a.m.-ish, midnight-ish. I don't know. So I'm like, fuck, I'm just pacing. I'm crying. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Around this time, like me and my sister, we was not close at this time, as close as we got. This was kind of like literally before we got close. And even when we began got close, when we first got close, I used to go through the most craziest shit, but I would never want to call her because I was more embarrassed. Like, you know, when you a victim of something and instead of realizing like, hey, I'm the victim, you start to kind of victim blame yourself. And then you be kind of more embarrassed. Like, how the fuck did I let myself get in this situation? So you really don't want to tell nobody. That's how it kind of was. So I was like, I don't want to say nothing to my sister or to my sister. that live in the same house as me who could have came. I don't know. It was just like. It was weird. Like, I just, I don't know what the fuck it was or what that feeling is, but it's just, it's very weird. So I'm like pacing back and forth. I'm crying on what the fuck to do. I'm trying to call people. They not answer. I'm like, damn, let me try to see if I call nail psycho. He not answer. I'm like, fuck, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So finally, um, Terry ended up coming outside and he was like, let me take you home. 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 So he's like, he seems scared. I'm like, oh, this nigga caught a case before. I should have looked his ass up on Megan's Law. <sighs> But but let me continue the story because shit, shit ends up, yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, no, it's cool. It's cool. But I'm over here like panicking. Like it was weird, but I'm making a scene. But it's, he lives in the hood. So, you know, when people make a scene, either people are going to mind their business or watch, but ain't nobody going to give a fuck. But I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. You don't have to like, it's fine. It's fine. I'll figure it out. So I start walking like I'm going to walk towards it. He's like, no, 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 no. Let me take you home. Let me take you home. Like he's scared as hell. Like it just. He was scared. So he like, no, no, no. Let me take you home. Let me take you home. So I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. You don't have to take me home. And I'm like, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So he's like, no, I'm going to take you home. I promise. I'm gonna, let me just take you home. I'm going to take you home. I'm so sorry. I'm going to take you home. So he ended up, um, he didn't even lock his door. Like he really came out. He was like, just come on. Just come on. So I ended up getting in the car. I know y'all going to be like, Simone, why would you get in the car? I really didn't have no other way home. I didn't know how to get home from here. And I know you're probably thinking, you should have called your grandma. Yeah, this is not a shoulda, coulda, woulda ass motherfucking story. Now is it? Uh -huh. I can't go back in time and say, oh, Simone, call your grandma, call her. I can't, like, I can't. So there's no need for you to be in the comments like, girl, I would've. Because, I mean, this is ain't no, it's not a multiple choice story time. I'm just telling my experience. So anyway, car ride was awkward, y'all. It was so awkward. I ended up getting home, and he tried to say something to me when I was getting out the car, and I just, like, slammed the door and ran in the house. So after that, y'all, he tried to hit me up. This man tried to hit me up the next day and was like, I was so drunk, I don't remember what happened. Mind you, I didn't say shit to him. Shit to him, I ain't replied. Because I'm like, this man is so weird. And then a part of me was thinking like, am I tripping? Like, am I tripping? Because I'm like, dang, like, I don't know. Am I tripping? Maybe it wasn't that bad. Like, maybe he just didn't realized that I didn't want to I'm like maybe I should have told him I didn't I wasn't on that like maybe I didn't speak up you know like when you start victim blaming yourself you start thinking about the craziest shit I'm really sitting here trying to think like maybe I was tripping maybe he was just drunk you know trying to but I still didn't want to talk to him because I was like nah this nigga is weird as fuck so I ain't talked to him so y'all tell me like probably like a month later because he kept trying to hit me up and stuff like that I don't know why I did not block him off Instagram I just didn't and he kept trying to hit me up and um, I just never will reply. So like a month later, I'm with this one girl. I'm going to do a story time on her because y'all, when I tell y'all, anyway, so dang, do she need a name right now? Mm, she don't need no name right now. Anyway, I was, she asked me if I was to go to a hood day with her or whatever. So I went with her or whatever. She was like, it was her people little function. It wasn't a hood day, but it was like her people function. It was game banger. So mm, it was hood activities. So I ended up going with everyone. When we was there, we was, um, I could probably do like a full story time on that, on that. Cause it was a whole crazy ass night, but this ain't that. It's just going to be, this part is real. Just like summarized. So 
we was there and just so happened we stand there talking to some people and guess who come up and was like Simone I know that's not you I know that's not you and I was just like I looked and when I said it's like my heart dropped to my fucking toenails I was like Oh, it was so weird because it's like, I have not seen you. I haven't talked to you. I'm like, what the fuck is he doing here? But then I remember he was, um, they wasn't from the same hood. Like her people wasn't from the same hood, but they was like, say if they was all bloods or they was all crips or whatever like that. Yeah, they was all bloods. I don't know why I just didn't just say that. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so I guess his hood was, I guess, cool with they hood or he might have known somebody. I don't know. So he ended up saying something to me or whatever. So I was just like, oh, hey, but mind you, my homegirl, she was one of them bitches. She always had an attitude with niggas. Like if they wasn't somebody she knew, she got an attitude. Don't talk to us. So she there looking mad. So he was like, oh, your homegirl looking real mad. And she was just like not saying shit so i was just keeping it real brief and he was like okay um yeah we need to catch up i've been trying to hit you you got the same number so i'm like mm -hmm. so he like okay we gotta catch up like we gotta link again like damn last time i seen i don't even remember the last time i seen you like i was so drunk like i don't remember shit from that day and i was just like oh and he was just like yeah i'm gonna hit you though i'm gonna hit you. your number's still the same though i'm gonna hit you i'm gonna hit you or i'm gonna hit you on instagram so i'm like okay it was just like like dry as fuck so i had seen him after i had seen him it was probably like he kept trying to hit me up i don't know why eventually i ended up like responding to him and he had asked me he was all like hey did you leave my jacket because mind you when we was at the house chilling we was in there when i was drinking i was getting hot mind you i had on a long sleeve shirt and a jacket so i ended up taking my jacket off so he was like hey did you leave your jacket at my house that's what made me end up replying because the whole time with him saying hey i miss you beautiful we gotta i, I gotta make it up to you or some shit like that i just never will reply so he mentioned a jacket. I'm thinking like, damn, what happened to that damn jacket? I like that jacket. So he was like, did you leave your jacket at my house? So I was like, oh, that's what happened to my jacket. So I was like, yeah. I was like, but it's cool. You could just throw it away. So he was like, nah, um, I don't got it no more. No way. He was like, yo ass got me in trouble with that jacket. So I'm like, how did I get you in trouble with the jacket? So he was like, because my girl, she was tripping when she came home. She seen that jacket and was tripping. So you mean to tell me? So I'm like, you have a girlfriend? Like, you had a girlfriend this whole time? Because now I'm so confused. This is weird. So he was all like, yeah, but we be off and on or whatever. He was like, but it's cool now. I moved out. So, like, you know, it ain't no issues. Like, you come to the crib. I'm thinking, like, do he not remember what he told me or something like that? You, what the fuck? Who you know who you talking to? He was like, yeah, but it's no issues. Basically, long story short, he ended up telling me that him and the girl lived together. She came home, seen the jacket. She was tripping. Y'all, why come to find the fuck out? A long story short y'all why come to find out that that was not that man's apartment that was his girlfriend apartment and she was gone for a few days a few days so you mean to tell me why your girl was gone for a few days you was on some weird ass shit and couldn't control yourself and you would bring somebody to the house that was your girl house and then even worse y'all the girl who he said oh my makeup is looking real weird with this lighting for some reason right now but even to make it real worse y'all the girl that was on the pictures that he said was his sister and his nephews bing pong you right it was his motherfucking girlfriend it was not his kid though that's her kid and none of them pictures he was in because none of them pictures is his motherfucking family that was not his damn grandma not his uncle bigfoot none of these people was anybody this man was related to none of them that's why he wasn't in none of the photos because this was her house they didn't live together. You lived with her. This, bro, I can't believe it. I was just like, this is crazy. But like, I didn't press or nothing because it's like, boy, I, I didn't even like, like you like that. But like, that's still weird. Like, it's a lot of strange things about you, right? So yeah, so after that, that's when he used to literally put our pictures onto like, it was crazy because it was this one couple and I don't know where the hell they was at. They was on vacation somewhere and it was on a beach and the dude, he was like real muscular, nowhere near what this man body looked like. Her body was banging nowhere near what my body looked like. And they was like kissing and he edited our fight, our faces on these people's body. And he used to post this shit on Instagram, bro, post it. He used to post like a lot of little funny stuff, but he would post stuff like that. And people would just comment, be like laughing my ass off, blah, 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 blah. Bro, you're weird. You're weird you're weird and he used to post shit like that and i used to be just like bro this nigga is weird as shit he had randomly try to hit me up and be like my little girlfriend but when he say little he meant like little like young and he'll say like little terms he'll try to like hit me up and say little shit like that or if i got a boyfriend he'll comment and like not comment on the picture but like he'll say little shit to me um like dm me and shit like that when dm started 
rolling in like he'll dm me or he'll comment on old photos and like have something to say i don't know why why i didn't block him i don't know i really don't know and um yeah so then that's what i said later in life when i ended up working at the job and the girl was like wait when she seen we had a mutual friend it was him she was like wait how do you know him and i'm just like mm. yeah but um this is the even crazier part this is what made me want to tell the story when i was like because i always want to tell this story but i was like mm, i was just like not ready to tell it because it was just too much that mentally it was like every time i thought about it that time telling it, it was just like i didn't want to tell that but like what made me because y'all one time i was downtown la and i was in my car right and i'm trying to park this car is in front of me and they won't move i'm like what the fuck but they like head on towards me so they won't move and i'm like what the fuck so i'm so irritated so i'm like oh my god so i just look down i'm on my phone or whatever like looking down so next thing you know they like swerve and they roll down the window so i'm looking like did i do something to them or do i know them so we roll down the window why it was him he was like, Simone, what the fuck? Wow, I haven't seen you in so long. And I was like, oh, he was with a girl. And I'm thinking like, eh. he's like, I haven't seen you in so long. Oh my God, like, wow, that's crazy. He tried to say God brung us to each other. <laughs> that's what he said. He said God brung us to each other. No, he did not. He, he really said that he's like god and i was like oh okay mind you at this point when he like distract when he got on the side of me it was like a car like moving i'm trying to get their spot so i'm like fuck because i know y'all probably think like girl why didn't you drive the fuck off because i was trying to get this other car spot so when they start all right when he started talking to me they start getting in their car and i'm like fuck okay let me put my blinkers on because i don't want to pay the park i want to pay the meter so i'm like damn so he like yeah so i'm like oh okay mm -hmm, nice seeing you mm -hmm. yeah and i know y'all probably think like you should have cussed him the fuck out man i don't know where that man was finna park at and probably chase me down so i'm like let me just keep it real cordial real cordial and cute so he like what's your number i said like, oh, i don't have a number right now so he like well you have a number i'm like oh, i don't do phone numbers i don't do that no more <laughs> i don't do phone numbers no more so he like oh, okay but damn this is crazy i was just thinking about you and i couldn't find you like i couldn't find you he was like i just i don't know he was like saying all this stuff like i just i couldn't find you oh my god this is crazy like wow and i'm just like yep so finally when the car moved i'm like whoops swerve get up y'all so i ended up getting out the car i'm walking around downtown or whatever right i'm thinking you know i'm over it because i ain't seen him or anything like that and it seemed like he was leaving y'all why he walk up on me and he was just telling me so much shit like yeah like i don't know what happened on instagram i don't have you anymore and all this other stuff like that just telling me all this stuff and he was just like yeah i've been looking for you like i've been trying to find you i couldn't i didn't never know your last name so i've been searching for you and i couldn't find you he's like and god brung us back <laughs> he, he brung us back to each other because i've been looking for you for so long and i'm just like y'all when i tell y'all it was the most weirdest uncomfortable situation like sir uh, 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 so i'm just over here still looking through the clothes like mm-hmm yeah and he like yeah so you don't do numbers no more like that's crazy he was like i don't know like i, I didn't know like if you like went mia because you heard and i'm like heard what and he was like they just trying to they trying to tarnish my name right now they trying to tarnish my name but it's not true it's not true simone like trust me it's not true so i'm like who's trying to tarnish your name he's like everybody like my hood everybody from the city they trying to tarnish my name right now but it's not true like if you hear anything about me it's not true i didn't do nothing that they said that i did and i'm just like what they say you did like because at this point what are you talking about so he was like they just trying to throw some stuff on my name that it's not me like I, i'm not that type of person like i would never do nothing like that you know me i've always been a good person to you right so i'm like is this is this a, a rhetorical question like you want me to answer this so i'm just like mm. so what are they saying and he's like we, we'll talk about it later you sure you ain't got no number i'm like no nah, i ain't got no number he's like dang all right well i'm gonna add you for my new instagram i'm gonna dm you just hit me just hit me back mind you this was like last year he's like just hit me back just hit me back so i'm like mm -hmm, sure yeah i'll do that so he's like all right dang it was nice seeing you that's crazy i was literally just thinking about you he was like yeah we might have to get away though like we might have to get away who what the fuck is you dumb i'm just so confused and i was like uh-huh just hit me just hit me and he left y'all he ended up hitting me on instagram telling me about how he gotta get out of dodge <laughs> he gotta get out of dodge because shit was getting real bad and mind you i never replied back i'll just leave him on scene and open the messages because i'm like what the fuck he's like he gotta get out of dodge shit getting bad so he might got, have to go out of state and i could just come visit him and you know and it'll be cool and all this bitch are you dumb are you dumb 
So I don't know what he did. Honestly, I really don't know. But it, I think it probably has something to do with a minor. It could be because, um, yeah, he kind of said something about a high school. <laughs> That's when he was like when he was kind of like saying a little bit when we was downtown. He was like saying something about a high school and I'm not that person. And they trying to put this on me. So I'm like, yeah, I think it has something to do with a minor. Um, but I don't know his last name. I remember, I know his first name, but I know his last name. So I was like trying to Google it. I'm like, fuck. Because he talking about some, it's a big thing in the city. I don't know. He was like something that happened at a high school. So I was trying to Google his name and the city he from. Like, dang, can I find it? But I couldn't find shit because I don't know his last name. And he have a common first name. So I'm like, fuck. But I didn't find nothing. Um, yeah, and it was just crazy because I'm like, wow. Yeah, interesting. But yeah, that's it for this story time. Me and Terry no i don't know i've not seen him um since then he randomly would try to like hit me up on instagram but it stopped maybe he's in prison now who knows but yeah that's it for this story thank you guys so much for tuning in i had to record while i'm out of town because i love y'all because y'all sold me the fuck out all right let me stop i love you guys so much and i see y'all next time if on the video if it's choppy like if it's one minute i'm sitting like this or if the lighting is different y'all i don't record story times on this sony and I see why. I recorded on the camera. This shit kept getting hot. I kept having to cut the camera off. I had to stop. I had to do this. It took me a long time to record this motherfucker. But I love y'all. So I did it. But I love you guys so much. And I'll see y'all in my next video. See y'all later.